All right, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna be doing another feeding type video today. Today I'm gonna be going over what it takes to feed all of our cows throughout one full day. Cause you know, we gotta feed them every single day and they're pretty hungry customers. They got four stomachs to fill. So they spend a lot of their time eating, but I'm gonna go over everything that it takes to feed all these guys and all of our baby cows, basically everyone on the farm. Cause when you add it all up, we're right around a thousand head these days right we're getting up there right about now i'm pretty sure we just hit it not too long ago or we're getting really close i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have to double check on that but yeah thousand head of cows quite a few cows so i thought i might as well walk you guys through on what what it all what goes into it basically so let's get to it all right so first things first before any cow takes a single bite of feed before we feed any feed out from our feed mixer before we even take a scoop from any of our silage piles to start mixing it the first thing that needs to happen is our nutritionist comes out twice a week every single week grabs you know a decent chunk like a handful of the feed and all of our different kinds of silages and she goes and tests it and she collects a stool sample or you know cow manure sample from the cows and tests it as well and the reason that she does that if you take a look we just finished half stacking out our entire corn silage stack you look at all this you know different compactive you know it's in different stages of being uh like turning it's pickling so basically what happens with silage is like you cover it up and it sits all in one pile and it heats up and then it cools down and it like pickles it so it preserves it over a long period of time but you know as we're feeding through all this stuff you know all this stuff gets different so you know one morning you know we could be getting some feed from up here or getting feed from down here and you know as we move through the stack you know you go a foot in another foot in another foot in it's going to change the composition's going to change you know the nutrients and stuff and the protein in it is going to change so she has to test the feed twice every single week to give us the best blend that we're going to put into uh our mixing boxes for the cows and they have the best feed every single week so that happens before all else is she tests the feed and then tells us exactly what we need to feed so as soon as our nutritionist gets back to us on what we need for feeding she'll be like hey you guys need 70 pounds of grass silage and like 50 pounds of corn silage uh for one cow to feed them for the entire day so what we do with that information you see here we start getting scoops from our uh silage stacks and we start loading them up into our feed mixing box right here and how we know exactly how much is we need is as you can see right here in this video uh we have this little electronic scale on the side of the mixing box just like this and so you can look down and the numbers will pop up right here and you can see exactly how much you're putting in so for one group you know say we have 80 cows in a group and when we're getting the corn silage you just multiply like 50 times 80 and you get your exact tonnage and you can check on the scale as you're dumping it in so you know exactly how much there is and then once you have your corn silage grass silage grain all in one bin so as you can see here there's a little uh, conveyor belt that shoots out the side of our feed mixing box and it right as it's starting here it'll just shoot out the feed and it just goes along you just drive the tractor at a nice slow pace and it'll shoot it right out to where the cows can eat it and it just drops it right in front of them there's nothing too crazy going on there it's pretty simple stuff it's just a little conveyor belt dumping out feed but it's you know nice to see the way that it works so there's three main things really that go into taking care of dairy cows in any given day it's feeding them cleaning up after them which you know moving all their manure and then milking them but one of the things that goes along with uh feeding them is as you can see throughout the day they're gonna eat all their food and they like to nose it forward for whatever reason they like to put their noses down and they make these little pockets in here they push the feed out this way and so the feed gets out of their reach eventually because they like nosing it out and digging holes in it so after it gets out of the reach after a while, the solution to that is uh, having a tractor just like this one. You got a blade on the back here. And so you reverse the tractor down the feed lane and you push all the feed back up close enough so then they can eat it and push it out again. You do that two, three times a day, but I'm about to hop up on this one. I'll mount up the GoPro and show you what it looks like just pushing up the feed for them here. And then I'll show you uh, how we take care of our younger calves as well.
So the younger animals on the farm uh, don't get quite as much, uh, like, how do I put it, like five-star restaurant treatment as the older cows do. They still get pretty good treatment, but it's not quite as, like, meticulous because the milk cows, we keep, like, a super strict, like, tight, uh, schedule on you know what what they get to eat because we want to know exactly what they're getting so it optimizes how much milk that we get from them every single day and it keeps them extremely healthy but the younger uh cows like this one uh, we usually just have a hay bale set up here in the barn and we roll it out and we push it up you know with pitchforks and whatnot and get it shoved up here so then they can eat some hay from the hay bales we feed uh one hay bale in this barn or probably about two hay bales a week and then in some of our other barns we feed i think we end up feeding about uh, a hay bale a day in total and then they also get this grain it just has like molasses corn all sorts of nutrients and stuff a bunch of vitamin a but it's just like a, a replacement for anything that they're not getting from the hay they get plenty of stuff from the grain uh, they get that twice a day but then they have free range on hay all day long and then on top of that, uh, if I go them out this way, do, 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 they also have free range on this front field over here. So you can see there's a, so they usually just come up for grain because they like the taste of the grain. But most of the time, you know, you'll have at least a few heifers out here grazing on pasture. They keep the pasture. You know, they just. They like to hang out here. They got their little common area. They got wood chip piles. They dry over there. You see a couple of them laying down, but they enjoy being out here and grazing. Um, and we do the same thing with our dry cows. So the, any cows that we're not milking that are pregnant and not close to calving, they also get to be out on pasture. Our dry cow pasture is massive. They get to range out there for, you know, they got acres and acres to walk across and they also get hay bales but if they want to eat it. You know, if there's a barn that we have for them um, so they can eat hay and stay dry in the barn on days that it's rainy. But other than that, most of our cows are on pasture if they're not being milked or if they're uh if they're too young to um uh be out on pasture yet like these calves up over here they'll show you in a second i'll cut the video and be right back all right this is our newest uh calf housing area we got this little igloo section but like these calves there's a little tiny one right here it's not quite old enough to not be stuck in a pen all day so it gets buckets of grain buckets of water uh bottles of milk uh bottles of milk twice a day and then it should have some hay in here i don't i don't think this one just got moved in here i'm pretty sure me and my dad moved this one in here this morning so yeah but yeah these ones uh they get a little bit more uh what's the word i'm looking for a little bit more attention because they get milk and whatnot every single day and the milk comes fresh from our cows every single day so we have in total for um um for people that uh uh so basically, uh, we have one full-time calf feeder who feeds the calves every single day. That's their sole job is they feed all of the young stock. They feed the smallest babies and then the teenage heifers just up before they get to springers. And then one other person usually that feeds all the milk cows. And then one more person that uh, kind of like distributes out the hay bales if we need hay bales. So it takes about three people with you know modern day equipment to feed a th around a thousand cows which is kind of crazy and but then it also takes a fourth to give us you know proper nutrition for our cows but that's just how we do it here in the states you know i know other places they just graze all of their cattle and give them hay bales sometimes but here since we're we really want to get like we get super high milk production on our farm we get around 80 or 90 per or pounds per cow per day which is a lot more than most places most places usually get around 20 or 14 that's like over if you're anywhere in the eu or places like that where they graze their cattle they don't get very many poundage out of their cow but here we just do it a little bit differently high input high reward and you know over there it's low input low reward but in the same we usually both end up making around the same amount of money because they're not paying as much 
to feed their cows, but they're also not getting as much milk, but we're paying way more to do, you know, feed our cows, but we're getting way more milk. So it usually balances out. It's just, we have way less land over here to work with than what some other farms do. So we got to work with what we got. Like we wish that we could graze all of our cows and make it easy on ourselves, but we do not have the acreage to graze our cows. So that's just how it works here in a day. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.